Good morning, guys. The, wa the washer's filling up behind me, so it's probably loud, but I'm hoping you can hear me. I'm sitting here adulting. I'm going through all my business receipts for um, supplies and stuff and putting it into my tax thing so that it can calculate everything and all that fun stuff. I'm right yeah. here. Yeah, there's Jesse. <laughs> we were running around today. I got some Happy Mail that I'll show you later. We went to the store to get some birthday presents. Your face is dirty. Go play, okay? We went to Dollar Tree and I got some more Halloween decorations. My Dollar Tree finally put out uh, Halloween. I wanted to go to get these little baskets. There's two orange ones that look like spider webs for my craft fair table. I thought I could put the spiders in that and maybe something else, you know, just to have a little basket. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't got that far yet. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm sitting in here being an adult today. Hey guys, today is Saturday, August 24th. Today is my nephew's 8th birthday. I can't believe he's 8. We're going to his birthday party later today. Um, but I wanted to show you real quick. I just came back from Dollar General, which are everywhere in the South. <laughs> but I used to coupon hardcore, uh, like at Kroger and stuff. But uh, I just kind of fell out of it. It's, it's really time consuming. And like especially now with all the no catchy name stuff, I wouldn't have time to do all the work that goes into extreme couponing. So now I just kind of like randomly coupon. <laughs> and it's mostly at Dollar General because every Saturday they have a $5 off 25 coupon. And then if you stack it with other coupons, you can get some really good deals. So today I went and got some good deals that we needed. I only ever do it when it's laundry soap or toilet paper. Maybe like body washes and stuff when we... Um, are getting low on body washes and stuff but I still have a bunch of stuff from when I couponed at Kroger two years ago but today I went and got all this stuff I'm about to show you and it it was twelve dollars but I actually it went came to sixteen because I got some chips for Jesse and a drink for me <laughs> but the coupon stuff was only twelve dollars which is good because the toilet paper I got alone was would have been eight dollars um, by themselves so I got two of the twelve packs of Scott um, Comfort Plus plush, plush? plus because <laughs> we were actually getting a long toilet paper so there's two of those so I got 24 of those and then some hefty trash bags there's 20 in there wow and then I got a bottle of Tide um, Simply Clean our uh, name that none of us have sensitivity so we can use any uh, detergent I got a big bottle of Purex 30 loads is that what it says no 50 loads and then a thing of Tide Pods. There's 16 in there. These are the kind of things I use for mine and Jesse's clothes because they're never super dirty. Devin's, I use liquid detergent because his clothes need a lot more soap. But I got all of those for $12, which is a really good deal because the toilet paper alone was um, two for eight. This was a, a dollar or something with the coupon, but before the coupon it was two something, two seventy five. dollars These were like $4.75. This was like $4.75 and the garbage bags were $4.75. So uh, that's a really good deal. That's the only time I ever do those Dollar Tree deals. And what I do, I mean Dollar Store, is um, on the Saturday, I will go to just Google and I'll type in Dollar General scenarios and then the date. Like this morning I typed in 824. And there's a bunch of coupon websites out there. They share all their scenarios. And what I do is I read them and whichever one has the stuff that we need, like laundry soap and toilet paper, is the one that I do. They had another one today that was like razors and um, like dusting, those dusting wand things. But, you know, we don't use stuff like that. I mean, we use razors, but not that kind. And um, sometimes it's like lotions and stuff. And I don't do it when it's lotions or stuff. I always do the laundry detergent and the Mama, toilet paper ones. I got that yeah and today was a bonus getting um the garbage bags because we always need garbage bags but yeah so i just wanted to share that with you guys <laughs> and if you're if i get this out no this will be out tomorrow but for like next weekend look it up <laughs> and uh, i do try to keep an eye on all the scenarios just so i can grab these good ones like this um i saved 15 dollars in total so um that was like it's basically like i bought the toilet paper and the garbage bags and i got these three for free uh, just for using coupons that are on the app. They're not paper coupons at all. They're all on the Dollar General app. I just use digital coupons now because I'm a lazy couponer. But uh, yeah, it helps us save money and get things that we need to buy. So, woo! -hoo. Good morning. 
Today is, I think the 26th. Um, I didn't film much the last few days because I haven't been feeling all that great, but I'm feeling better today. So, if I filmed any ugh, random clips, I will put them all together. <laughs> but right now, I'm going to strip off Jesse's bed and gather up all the throw blankets and wash them. And then when Devin gets up for work later, I will do the same to our bedroom because I got to do all the sheets and stuff today. all these lights on. <laughs> I'm bad at that. Okay. Right. <laughs> I'm going in the house right now grabbing up the throw blankets, which we have a lot of. Between me, uh, the girl I babysit, and Jesse, we have a lot of blankets because we like to snuggle all of us. Oh, I can't pick them all up. <sighs> Got all of them. <laughs> um, surprisingly enough, none of them are crochet. I have a crochet one out for Halloween, which I'll be putting out after the fair this year. And, uh, Christmas and I want to make more I just never have the time always seems to be oh gosh why is everything in my way right now I'm trying to move a chair with my foot okay let me get over here okay the worship's going in the background filling up so it might be hard to hear me but oh well um I did finish two more things for the county fair things I've had laying around I made I finished my Christmas wreath that I made uh I made I sewed the deer on there and then I made these little lights this is a Sarah Zimmerman pattern for these little lights. Super quick. It's like a two row pattern. And then I went ahead and finally put the handle <laughs> on this boho bag that I made earlier this year. I haven't lined it yet, but I'm going to enter it unlined and see what happens. <laughs> Alright, so Devin is still asleep. I'm trying to roll my laundry cart in here. Um, so when he wakes up, I gotta put up mine and Jesse's laundry that's been hanging on that rack for a few days. And, uh, then I gotta put his laundry up, which is in the bedroom. It's clean. It's just not hung up yet. Plugging in my Halloween lights. Uh, I thought I'd go around and show you guys my Halloween decorations. So far, I'm not done. I haven't put the outdoor stuff out. And I haven't put the bats up along the ceiling like I did last year. Just because I want to get something better than tape to do it with because when I did it with tape last year they kept falling down because they would get hot and could become unsticky but I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the stuff that I got so far okay there's probably random clutter everywhere so just ignore it but I got this skeleton uh, the other day me and Jesse picked it out at Dollar Tree and then on our DVD shelf I've got these two little guys that I made last year and my bat he's purple so it's kind of hard to see with the lighting in here and then up here I got two skeleton hands. They were at the Dollar Tree as tongs, like salad tongs, but I've seen other people decorating with them, so I just bought some to decorate with. And then all my um, bats are right here. I got to put them up. I got this sign at the Dollar Tree. We only have one goblin, but they didn't have ones with just one. <laughs> and then down here on the sound bar, I got two pumpkins, also Dollar Tree, and then I made this last year. It's a mason jar in it. It's a Heidi Yates pattern. I think it's free on her blog. And then I put my candy corn lights around, along the window. And I also got candy corn lights over there. But on my two mirrors, I put Halloween bowls also from Dollar Tree. <laughs> and then it's a bunch of the crochet patterns I've been making over the last couple of years. In the middle is my Frankenstein um, vase that I got at the thrift store last year with some purple and orange flowers that are glittery. This is a little pumpkin that Jesse painted the other day. We got it also at the Dollar Tree, but he painted it, so I got it up there. And then over here, I got a big spider on our lamp. And then above the couch is like a web thing with spiders on it. Right here is a ghost. And then the hallway. Oh gosh, our house is messy. Cute witch sign I got at um, Dollar Tree. I made that last year. It had candy corns hanging from it, but Jesse pulled them off the um, off of it last year. I think it was last year. Maybe it was year before last. I can't remember. These are lights, but they are broken, so I just use them as a garland every year. And then on our bedroom door, I got this one. Dollar Tree. On Jesse's bedroom door is just a pumpkin jack o' lantern. Dollar Tree. I'm trying to like hide our mess. <laughs> and then on the bathroom door another one. And on the bathroom shelf, I got a spider. And on the mirror, a spider web. And over here, 
is a little thing my sister made me. She made me a Halloween one and a Valentine's Day one. So I think I need a Christmas one now, Hattie. Do I have a Christmas one? Maybe you did. I don't know. That is all of my Halloween decorations indoors, except this right here in the kitchen, uh, where I hang my glass water. <laughs> Until I get the bats to put, or the tape to put the bats up, and there was something else I wanted. Oh yeah, I like putting garland around my TV. I did it last year for Halloween and for Christmas, and they got Halloween garland at Dollar Tree. I just didn't buy any the other day, and it's nine feet, so that would work perfect for that. I think that's everything. And then all the outdoor stuff is in this tote down here. I'm just waiting for September 1st to get here. So that's that's next Sunday. So I'll be putting that stuff out next Sunday. Oh, and Devin may be off work, so that'll help. He helped me. But uh, we got a blow-up witch. We got a bunch of pumpkin and bat lots. We probably won't use all of them, but I bought a bunch on clearance last year. Some of them will probably be put out, and some of them will probably be um, put back in the closet for when we get a house. Or I might put some on the back porch. Because Jesse would like that and I would like that. <laughs> Decorations make me happy. But, um, what else is in there? Spider. We got a big spider web with spiders. I can't remember all. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I just love decorating and it makes me happy, so why not? But, once I get my patterns released, I'll have a few other things I can sit around. Actually, one of my patterns I'm entering into the fair. So I won't be able to show you guys that. <laughs> Um, until a little bit after that, because my amigurumi that I made, I'm entering it as a Halloween decoration because it's Halloweeny. <laughs> but um, yeah. Oh yeah, I do have two giant bats over there that I'm planning on hanging from the ceiling at some point. <laughs> I just gotta get. Uh, I wanna. I remember like um, back when I homeschooled and church school and all that, they had like that blue putty that they used on the walls to hang up posters with. I want to try to find some of that because I'm, I'm going to hope that that sticks better than tape. Because last year, because one, the bats are glittery, so glitter doesn't stick good to tape anyways. And two, they would like get hot and just fall. So I'm hoping I can find some of that poster putty and it would work better. I don't know. But like I said, today I'm going to be doing a lot of laundry, the bedding. And it takes a while because our big blankets have to be washed like individually. So I'll be doing probably like three or four loads of laundry today. Maybe even more. I got one going right now. I gotta put up mine and Jess's laundry, Devin's laundry. I gotta cook something for dinner because I haven't cooked the last few days. I haven't felt good. Um, I have no idea what I'll cook. Maybe some chicken because I always like some chicken. I got to cut interfacing and start working on my Notion bags. That's my goal today. I cut out all the project bags. They're right uh, there. Why can't I point to it? <laughs> They're back there. Um, let's see here. I got 19 sets that will be going into um, the shop. Hopefully next weekend, by next weekend. So today I'm going to cut the interfacing, make the zipper bags. I'm going to try to get all of them done today. And if I get all of them done today, I will go ahead and start on the drawstring casings for the, the project bags. And then tomorrow and Wednesday, I will work on the project bags and get them all done Wednesday. So maybe Wednesday night or Thursday sometime the bags will be up. And when they go up, I will announce it on YouTube and on Facebook. Uh, I've had a lot of people message me asking me to message them like personally when the bags go up. And I just can't do that. It's just it's getting to the point to where there's so many people asking that that I can't I can't physically go through there and message everybody because there's a lot of them. So it's just gonna have to be first come, first served from now on because uh, I can't really do holds because I don't think it's fair. And uh, I can't, I don't, I don't have the time to sit there and uh, message 30 people um, to tell them that the bags are up. So I'm just going to do announcements on YouTube and on Facebook. And if you get them, you get them. If you don't, you just have to try the next time or something. But um, yeah, I'm trying to get to where I can make more bags. But uh, the more bags I make, the less time I have to crochet. And, uh, you know, I got to, I got to, what am I trying to say? I got to like manage my time <laughs> I want to have work time which would be the bags but I also want to have pleasure time with one my family and two crocheting and uh, yeah I think that's what I'm trying to say <laughs> well let's see here my craft fair is coming up the it's the second week of October so I have like six weeks to prepare for it 
I'm still working on amigurumis. I'm working on my table setup. Like I'm brainstorming on ways to uh, do levels and stuff. And I have people who said that I could borrow stuff from them. But I kind of want to um, do my own thing, you know. And I want to have my own stuff for in the future if I do another craft fair. Which I don't know. And it all depends on how well this one does. Because this is a lot of work. Um, if I don't do well enough, I may not ever do one again. But I do got to get another table. And I don't actually count that as um, craft fair expenses because uh, I know for a fact we'll use those tables for a thousand other things too, not just craft fair. Um, one good one is uh, my sister hosts Thanksgiving every year and those are bigger than the tables she uses so she might want to use those. Um, and they fold really easy, they have handles, they're nice. And uh, you know, my father-in-law has cookouts all the time, we could use them for that, we could use them next year when it's pretty or even this fall we could take them out on the porch and have dinner on the porch which is something i've been wanting to do i've been wanting a patio set out there but we really don't have the room for like a permanent patio set uh out there but anyways i'm not counting that as a hundred percent craft fair expense because um we're going to use it for so many other things i actually had it set up one day uh cutting my material and stuff on i made that today to do my interfacing and ironing and all that on so that I could sit in here and watch the big TV. Because when I have to work in there, I watch the laptop or my phone. And uh, I like to watch stuff on the big TV when Jesse's not here. He's at my mom's. I didn't, I never did say that. I just got back from taking him up there. The moment he woke up this morning, like he woke up, he hollered for me. I went in there and picked him up. And he said, I'm going to go to Granny's. <laughs> so I was like, okay. So we went to the store and got him some snacks and stuff to take up there with him. And I took him up there and it's raining today. It was raining last night when I went to bed, and it, I don't know if it rained all night, but it's uh, still raining right now. And it's um, its a little after 9 right now. I, I play Wizards Unite, and I got, if anyone plays that game, I got some of the red mushrooms that take forever to grow, growing at our courthouse. And they're going to be done in like 15 minutes. But I don't really want to go get them, because it's so rainy and gross. I'm just, I think I'm just going to let someone else get them today and not worry about it. And, uh, cause I got, uh, I got a bunch yesterday on the game. If you don't know what that is, then you, you don't even care, but, uh, I just don't feel like going to get my mushrooms. <laughs> I don't have a reason to go check them out today because nothing's there but, like, a bill so I can stay there for a few more days. Yeah, so I'm just going to stay home and sew and do laundry today and figure out what to cook later. Okay, I have no idea how much I filmed the last few days. This is going to be a really random vlog probably, but that's okay. I just finished all the notion pouches. So I got cats, chickens, flamingos, Snoopy and Charlie and Woodstock. The cows, they're so cute. Uh, these colorful mandala thingies. Triangles. Ooh, my stack. Bunnies honeybees, and zebras, two of each. Ugh, I just got done doing that, just literally finished. I'm still watching Little House on the Prairie. So now I've got to get ready to start sewing the project bags tomorrow. I may do the drawstrings casings tonight. Uh, but yeah, so I got all the notion bags completely done. I can mark those off on my list. Woo!